Well, hello there, future nurses. Welcome back to another Med Monday. I'm Cynthia, and I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're going to be learning about a torvastatin, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in, and we're going to try to get this done in under five minutes. All righty. All right, here we go. So atorvastatin is the generic name and Lipitor is the trade name. It's an anti-lipidemic, which means it's anti-lipid and it's given PO. So the way that it works is it inhibits, and this is a mouthful, hydroxymethylglutarol coenzyme A Reductase, reductase enzyme, which reduces cohen, cholesterol synthesis. Wow, that's a lot. So in high doses, this leads to plaque regression. And that's what we want, especially in our patients with cardiovascular disease. So the indication or why we're going to give this medication is it's an adjunct for primary hypercholesteremia and, uh, and elevated triglyceride levels, and it's also given for the prevention of cardiovascular disease in those um, with mildly elevated cholesterol. So the contraindication or why we won't give this medication is hypersensitivity, as always, um, breastfeeding and pregnancy, and active liver disease. Now, we can use this with precautions in patients with liver disease, and we want to use it cautiously with our patients who abuse alcohol and our patients with metabolic disorders and electrolyte imbalance. Our side effects, which remember, side effects are non-life-threatening, include abdominal cramps, constipation and diarrhea, and dyspepsia, impotence, hypersensitivity, and photosensitivity. Now our adverse reactions, and let's remember that these are potentially life-threatening, are liver dysfunction, pancreatitis, and rhabdomyelitis. So our nursing considerations include making sure that our patients have their LFTs or liver function test, or it's also called liver panels, monitored every one to two months. We also want to monitor a renal panel, which does include electrolytes, but we're looking at those um, BUN and creatinine. And we want to make sure that we get a good diet history and uh, make sure that our patients are modifying their diets. We want to monitor for bowel status, and we want to monitor for rhabdomyolysis, especially in those patients who are having lots of cramps. Now, our patient teaching, as always, we want to make sure that our patients take this as prescribed, that they notify the physician if they become pregnant or they're breastfeeding. We want to make sure that they know that they need to get regular blood work done and because we want to monitor their liver and their kidney function. And we want them to report any blurred vision, severe GI upset, muscle pain, and weakness. They should be avoiding alcohol, and they do need to wear sunscreen and protective clothing for that uh, photosensitivity. And as always, we want our patients to check with the pharmacist or the physician before adding any over-the-counter medications or herbal supplements because those can have severe reactions. And that's it for this week's Med Monday. So I just want to remind you that if you haven't signed up for Med Monday, you can go to nursingschoolsimplified.com forward slash Med Monday. And every week I will send you the fun fact sheet with all the information you need to know for the medications. And I'll send you the video. Now we are working on getting all our past Med Mondays up on the website. So we'll have an archive so you can go back and get those. And I'm focusing on the most utilized medications in the clinical setting so that you can use these to study with and use these to make your med cards. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you have a great week. And as always, keep working on your dream.